So there we go. Will be a buy run. Nicolas Bertans. Nicknack. Car repaired and make it out on the line. So Nicolas Bertans will get a buy run. A chance to test the car. A, tar, a chance to test the track condition. As now the sun goes down, things start to change real quick. So Nicolas Bertens into the top 16 and that just leaves us with one more battle to go. It will be Ahmed Al Amri to take on Ian Phillips from the UK. Off the line we have Nicolas Bertens to lead out Ian Biz Phillips and Ian Phillips goes way too hot off the circuit. Fires that car off, picks up a cone and Bertans now starts to lay down that clinical lead line. Oh, and Ian Biz Phillips, that cone stuck under the front bumper, puts him into a spin. And Ian Biz Phillips, unfortunately, there now. Having to try and recover some of this, but unfortunately, the man from the UK, Ian, the business Phillips. Off the line, Ian Phillips, a big spin in the first half of the run. Now Biz, everything to try and do in the lead. Can he put down a clean, nice lead run? Can he try and throw Nicolas Bertans off? Well, at the moment, making a lot of mistakes as Ian Biz Phillips just about makes himself, gets that car into outside zone three. Bertans, absolutely no respect for the back end of that 350Z as he almost takes the back off of it on the front of that E36 BMW and he goes for it again, forcing Phillips in to drive in harder than ever before as Nicolas Bertens takes bites, takes dives, pushes Ian Phillips around oh, the circuit. Nicolas Bertens, the lights flash, the light goes green, Bagsy through the gears, slams that car onto initiation, Bertens fires it in, looks for the back bumper, looks for the side, a dab on the foot brake for Bagsy in outside zone two, manages to get there, Bertens all over the front wheel, all over the side of Bagsy's PS13, Nicolas Bertens, oh wow, Nicolas Bertens, he's not messing around, he rips the whole back end off of Bagsy's PS13, as Bertens destroys what's left of it, disposes of it on the side of the track, and now shows him, is he the new young gun at Monster Energy? He fires through, comes back again. Bertens makes contact with Bagsy across Can the, the defending line. defending champ, keep a hold of it. Can he do what he needs to do? Through the gears they come, screaming to initiation. Bagsy looks for the back bumper. Big initiation with both of them. Bagsy starts to repay the favour now. Is he closer than Bertens? He's on a wider line. He's tighter to the door than Bertens was. He waits, lets Bertens set himself up. Now he goes for the big transition. No contact this time. As Bagsy goes for the front wheel, looks for the door. He pushes Bertens to the extreme edges of the circuit. Back again. Bagsy clinical. Is he serious? He needs to make a little push and he does onto the door goes Bagsy one last transition times it perfectly as Bagsy jumps up onto the side Bagsy and Bertans to go at it again to lead out Nicolas Bertans flames erupt from the back Bertans once again hot onto the tail of Bagsy's PS13 on the foot brake goes Bagsy dials that car into the outside line Bertans falls down off of that qualifying line ever so slightly now not as aggressive this time as Bertans as they transition back Bertans leaves him some room Bagsy into outside zone four gets the job done nicely but Bertans is right there Bertans is all over Bagsy's PS13 transition back Bertans is with him once again Bagsy in to outside zone six goes wide Bertans tags the door calls himself up can't he get close he certainly can across Bertans. the line Rightly so he can in that chase position. Very close, almost tags Bertans on initiation. He's closer than Bertans as he come round outside zone two. Oh! And Bagsy, contact, understeer, takes himself off the circuit. And Nicholas Bertans drives away and fires across the circuit. Nicholas Bertans looking to end this one right here on the circuit as Bertens gets the job done, fires into that final outside zone and across the line. Here we go, through the chicane they go. Nicholas Bertens to take on a homeland friend of his own, Edgar Cogueras, and a nice initiation from Bertens. Look at that front wheel clearly lifted off the tarmac, fully locked as he comes into outside zone three now. 
Edgar Cogueras trying to make a move, trying to find the side of that E36 BMW. Just can't get there though. Makes a big dive across the circuit, but still some distance between these guys as Bertans absolutely hammers down, flicks it across the circuit, looks for the outside zone and fulfills it. Cogueras, no movement, no fight, no dive from Cogueras into that final outside zone. Lead out Nicolas Bertans. The final spot in the final awaits. Flick across the circuit, but look at Bertans, aggressive onto the back bumper he goes. Dials off the angle, shallows up as now. Cogueras goes wide, looks for that outside zone, barely fulfills it, but doesn't matter to Bertans, he's right with him as he shallows up to transition. Cogueras looks deep in outside zone four. Cogueras hungry for this one, fires across the circuit as Nicolas Bertans goes wheel to wheel. Almost big contact as Nicolas Bertens hungry to get into that final with Ahmed Daham as he comes across the line, he's on the door. Taking the win, the top step on the podium goes to the one and only Lavian Lover. Give it up for Nicholas Nicknack Bertans. Ooh, bravo!